Don't <laughs> make me this <laughs> There's two broad categories of recumbent trike. There is what's called a delta, after the Greek letter delta, two wheels in back, one in front. And then the rest of these are what we call tadpole trikes. And that sounds a little funny, but if you think of a tadpole, it's fat in front, skinny in back. And a tadpole trike has two wheels in front, one in back. The key difference between the two styles is that generally the Delta trike sits higher off the ground, so it's a little easier to get on and off of for most people. Easy to get on opposed to the tadpole. All right. Ooh, it's but it also has a higher center of gravity, so it's a little tippier in turns. And with the light front end, the handling's a little twitchier. Look at that, it turns, it turns on a dime. When you arrange the wheels the other way with the two wheels in front, one in back, and drop the seat down, you get more stability, but at the same time, a sportier ride. So which is kind of contradictory. You would think stability and sporty don't go together, but this is one case where they do. Just the steering geometry of the two wheels in front plus the lower center of gravity, you feel more secure and more stable, less likely to tip, because you are, um, but also you can hit a corner a lot faster and get a big grin on your face because it's like a go-kart that you're powering. There are a few exceptions. There are some Deltas that have sportier handling, but even the sportiest of the Deltas is not going to be as sporty or as stable as a, as a tadpole typically. But this is a Delta style trike and one of the advantages of a Delta style trike over the tadpole is that you can couple Delta trikes together. Most of the companies that manufacture the Delta trikes also manufacture a fitting that max mounts to the backside of one trike that allows you to connect the front of another trike to it. You basically take the front wheel off and hook the front frame onto the rear of the next trike using a quick release. And then that way you've just magically created a tandem or a triple, or they've actually coupled, I think around a hundred of them together as kind of a demo thing to just show off what you could do. And there's a very funny video somewhere out there online where there's this long line of Hasa trikes and they do a U-turn at the far end and the riders are high-fiving each other as the front end comes back and passes the back end. It's easy try classic. It retails for about $1,400. This is probably for as many years as I've been here the most consistently popular of the Delta trikes with our customers. It's a really great entry-level recumbent Delta trike. It's easy to get on and off and the handlebars are where you kind of expect handlebars to be. People just seem to gravitate towards this because it's more familiar than either the tadpole trike is or the other delta trike which right here is the hasa trigo this has what's called underseat steering so the steering is more like at your hips which is actually super comfortable but it takes a little getting used to for some people not seeing their hands when they're steering you're looking at about a 2500 dollars trike here definitely higher quality more adjustability uh, and better handling, I find, than the Sunseeker. Your least expensive recumbent style trike is going to be in the neighborhood of around $1,300, $1,400. This is a model from a company called Terra Trike. And then over here, we have a trike from a company called HP Velotechnik in Germany, and this trike sells for roughly $12,000. Key differences between the Delta and Tadpole trikes. Generally speaking, a Delta is going to be a little bit easier for some people to get in and out of because it sits a little bit higher off the ground. It's also going to look and feel a little more familiar to people because it's a little closer to a conventional bike in terms of its layout and where the controls and things are. But when you get to a Tadpole, your stability improves, generally your center of gravity is lower, and the two wheels up front gives you better handling and greater stability.